garbage collectors in the capital Sana'a in green uniforms distinguished by their dark skin they are the untouchables of Yemen they are known as the Akhdam an Arabic name for servants they prefer to be called the marginalized ones a caste languishing at Yemen's lowest social order this is where they live in slums on the edge of the city. This is where six families live together in the complete absence of basic living conditions. There's a growing sense among these people that there's nothing they can do to change the pervasive culture of prejudice and discrimination. Ali Mahdi shows the dark and poorly furnished room where he lives with his wife and children. In the rainy seasons, it floods. And during the horrid heat, life becomes impossible. My message to the world is please help us. We are all sick because of the filth and dirt and the severe poverty. This is not a decent life. We are Muslims like all Yemenis. We deserve a better life than this. Nu'man is an activist. He has been fighting for years to improve the rights of his own people. Inspired by the American civil rights leader Martin Luther King, He's urging skeptics to show patience in the fight against stigma. The only way to eliminate the stereotypes is to take action. The Akdam have to understand that it is they who have to fight for their rights. We are Yemenis. The constitution gives us the right to own a house and to go to school. However, rights are never granted. One must fight for them. Mujahid is a local leader. He says government promises to build houses for the Akhdam were but empty words. He worries more about the future of the children. Mistreated at school, they drop out at an early age, only to find themselves confined to scavenging or clearing away human waste to earn a living. A thorny path for a cast on the fringes of Yemeni society. Hashbah Bara Al Jazeera, Sana'a.